I was looking back at our promotions director, Juliana, to see what our time schedule was. We lost the over-under on how much time Estridge would get versus Mark on the microphone. You <laughs> <laughs> Now, Hal's laughing because... You're telling us to wrap it up. He's we got, got 15 six minutes behind schedule. I have nine pages. <laughs> I, I sat down on Sunday night and started to write my thoughts down on working at WBAP for 25 years. And I asked Hal, I said, did you write anything down? Well, if you know Hal, he's, gonna, he's a straight shooter right from the heart. Now, he can't remember yesterday just like I can't remember yesterday, which is why I wrote, wrote it down. But I... I did have a few things, if, if you'll... Yeah, go ahead. It's nine pages of stuff. It, Hold on, yeah. Are, are you okay with that? Before Neil? Okay. All right. Thank you, David, for saying go for it, Lamb. Nine pages? Did you, did you see Texas Monthly yet this month? Uh, no. I, no. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Cox, program. he runs the radio station. I'm editing nine on pages. the fly. I... I'm at, and I will put it there. Okay. Real quick, Charlie Guerin nominated as one of the best yes. representatives in the state of Texas this month. What does he have to do with tonight? Well, I thought you would like this. Yeah? He talked about four things that are important in this life. Okay. God, Texas, mm -hmm. our Constitution, mm -hmm. and football. Ooh. Yeah. But... If we were doing the morning show, we would add, he didn't say anything about mama, or trains, trains. or prison. prison. Of course, you're going to hate prison if it's yeah. you're on Friday, there on Fridays, right? Yep. So, I started reflecting back on the 25 years and where I've gone, what I've been able to see. We were talking about the Stanley Cup, the Cowboys, the three Super Bowls. With Nolan Ryan guiding the Rangers, they're not only going to go to the World Series, they're going to win a World Series eventually. And the Mavericks just winning a championship. And I even wrote this down. I'll read this for you so you know it's there. It won't be long before TCU not only becomes the Rose Bowl champions, but they become the national champions of college football. All right. Very nice, Steve Lamb. This I, is from an OU guy. I add, from an OU guy. I add... Hey, if it can't be the Oklahoma Sooners, then let it be the Frogs. Where's Ashley? Why, I heard you scream over everybody. <laughs> She's an OU girl. Boomer. There you go. For those of you that have been there, I, I didn't want to forget some of the great group of guys that I've had the opportunity to work with on our sports side. And I just wanted to mention them by name. Bill Coates, David Hatchett, Mark Holtz, Eric Nadell, Dave Barnett, Randy Galloway, Ted Sorrells, Chris Garcia, who's here tonight, Ted Davis, a young intern named Scott Fransky, who's the voice now of the Philadelphia Phillies, Ralph Strangis, and now Brian Estridge. I put down on Estridge, when Brad, Jam Brad Sham steps down with the Cowboys, and he will one day, Brian is the next guy if that's what he wants to do. He's that talented, Brian Estridge. Without a doubt. There you go. Without a doubt. Now. What, what have you heard? I'm going to add, people said, whatever you do, mm -hmm. do not forget to mention your wife. Okay, I'm going to read this because it's the way it works for me. I'm not the smartest guy in the room. Well, we all agree there. We don't. We agree that. But I must have done something right because next month I will have been married to Deborah Ferguson Lamb for 18 years. Woo! How about that? What'd you get her? All right. What did she you get? You already her? bought her a present? Oh, what did I have, get her? Have you already got her She's something? She's got some bling. She's got some bling. She looks yeah. good tonight. Harold, uh, our, uh, I, I've got another You ever real... worry about men Stop. in the audience? Huh? <laughs> Stop. She's here. When she's on TV, all the men out there going, Ugh. All the ones in prison? 
Oh, yeah, your son just left his... Uh, Josh is hitting on her. Hey, I wanted to mention, before I moved to Texas, you know this, I didn't know the, a darn thing about hunting. Yeah, uh, yeah, you I, fell in love with it. I, I told the mayor, you're talking about, he said you're a great outdoorsman, and I went, oh, really? You ever see anybody go duck hunting with a rake? But I wanted to thank Tim Llewellyn. Tim's here tonight. You, you saw him. Yeah. For letting me experience one of the greatest pleasures in life and teaching me how to hunt. Now, Sean will remember this. Tim will remember this. They're laughing right now because they both remember that first white-tailed deer I shot in Parker County. That huge. I drove up with my monster buck. That deer wasn't as big as the weenie dog that Tim owned. That deer probably weighed 20 pounds. It's not that very was, big. That was a small little thing. But I've gotten better. Yeah. I've gotten better. Jeez. Uh, we mentioned Juliana. Yep. Vicky, promotion staff. Right. They've worked their butts off. RJ, Brian, all our salespeople. The advertisers. Kerry Korzanowski, who's been at WBAP. As long as I have. I mean, we're, we're, we've been there kind of together. We've and, all been there, yeah. And my boss who's doing this, where is he at, Tyler Cox? He's throwing up right now, Steve. <laughs> Tyler, as you know. He's not going to be your boss much longer. I'll put it really that way. This. Tyler has busted my chops more than once, but I probably had it coming. Come, right now. Come to think of it, I know I had it coming. Thank you, Tyler, for not canning me when you could have. It's not over. In closing. Hey, he said in closing. In closing. I told my wife tonight that I wanted to be professional and not get emotional. She, <laughs> okay, that won't get me emotional. She reminds me all the time about life isn't the breath that we take, but those moments that take our breath away. Working with you for 25 years has been... So there, I love Don't. you. Now, why'd you go and say that? Let's party. I won't take nearly as long as Steve did. Steve Bouchelle went longer. I hope we got all that on tape. We'll sell it. I've got, uh, just want to say to all of our listeners that are here, uh, We've got a lot of friends and, and, and colleagues from the advertising agency. And to the listeners and to the advertisers, my wonderful family is sitting here at this table. <clears throat> and if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been able to feed them over the past 30 years. Because the more listeners we have, that's how I kept my job. And so to the listeners and to the advertisers who spend their money on the morning radio show, I can't thank you enough. I don't know what to do to thank you. Because it's, <clears throat> it's expensive. And uh, to, to the listeners, God bless you. Thank you. But my family's right here at this table. My mom is here, my stepfather, my brother-in-law, my wife, 38, 38 years today. Boy, has she put up with some stuff. Boy, has she seen some stuff. Carter? Carter, his girlfriend, Sarah Marshall. She's from Oklahoma, Ashley, so she's pretty good. Josh and his wife, Emery. And uh, we don't have the two, uh, don't have the two grandkids, but uh, they have blessed us with couple of grandkids that are unbelievable. I, it's unbelievable. And you know, you think about the job and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to stop right now. But all of it, all of it, the, the, the job, the money, the cars, the fun trips, everything is, everything is second best or second when it comes to family and friends. Right. If you have that, you got it all. Thank you. Thank you.